nice and quick. You can trust me. Fucking coward eyes! Don't run out of <laughs> now it gets fun! Something's coming. Ready up. And you picked the wrong fight. Lost them. I don't like surprises anyway. Hey, I got something. I need some goddamn fire okay. for it. Nothing. There you are. It? I'm feral now. You better hide. Show your face. Come on. I dare you. You're still alive? Come out Christ. here so we can gut ya. Oh. That it?
it's on! Can you see him anywhere? I'm some jet after that. I'll be all right, just clip my leg.
fucker. You got God me. God damn it, I need covering fire. That always is not Playing games with me, huh? Fucking hide from me. You're dead! open. I think this asshole's using a stealth board. No sign of him now. Come on, it's over. They must have run out. Just relax. I'll fucking relax or I'll take the fucking time. You got it? I got it. Jack, man. it.
the hell was that? What the fuck was that? No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Better run. This ain't good. Get over here, quick! What is it? Oh shit! You think you can hide? We're getting wasted! Nice and quick. You can trust me. Show your face. Come on. I dare you.
going up. Lower level. it.
sure you saw something? There we go. You find those raiders? Yeah, I took care of them. No kidding? That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. You name it. Take whatever you can. I'll keep watch.
Hey. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. I don't think I ever told you what happened to the Minutemen. How I ended up as the last one. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well, it's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Hey, that means a lot coming from you, Garvey. I appreciate that. Does that mean you'll do it? Okay, I'll do it. Well now, looks like the Minutemen got a fighting chance, don't they? Good, good. Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Minutemen and the Commonwealth too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. What? The leader of the Minutemen has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Minuteman is, there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. Another settlement has sent word that they need our help. Here's where they are. I hope you can help them. We've got to show people they can count on the Minutemen again.
Diamond City, huh? You know, they ain't real fond of ghouls in this town. Ever seen a Meyer lurk? Think a crab, cross with the tank. Bad angle. Come, come, have a drink. I didn't buy bar to sell water. Earl Sterling used to work here, right? Poor Earl. Gone just like that. Such a good bartender. Good friend. Oh, <laughs> terrible with women, mind you. Bull in China shop with them. You with Valentine's Detective Agency? I forgot to drop off Earl's key when I hired you people. Here, I hope you find out what happened. Security does nothing but yell at me for asking about it. Now, let me pour you a drink. Come on. Not now. You sure? Ah, well. You gotta. Whoa, whoa. No ghouls in Diamond City. Get that thing out of here. Mm -hmm. Using a stealth boy or something? This better be an emergency. Do you know anything about this receipt? Let me see. Hmm. This is Dr. Crocker's deplorable handwriting, all right. Looks like Earl Sterling was one of his patients. The procedure noted here is mundane. Low-risk cosmetic work. 
Dr. Crocker never performed it, however. Said Earl vanished before he paid. Now, let's get back to talking about your medical needs. Where is Doc Crocker? Last time I saw him, he had to get something out of the surgery cellar. Probably just had to wash some needles or move some storage around. Anyway, we should get back to your immediate medical requirements. I need to get into the cellar, Doctor. What does this look like? A public outhouse? Uh, you know what? Don't answer. Why on earth would I let you down there? I'm investigating a missing person, Doctor. And I think the trail leads to your basement. A missing person? You're talking about Earl, aren't you? You can't honestly think... You know what? Fine. If it'll put the matter to rest, here. Go see for yourself. But if I find one instrument out of place, you'll be getting the bill. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Full, you know, but I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. What did you do to Earl Sterling, Doctor? What did I do? I, I didn't do anything. It was, uh, it was Earl. It was Earl who didn't want to be happy. Good patients get a nice new face. Bad patients bleed all over the floor because they want to screw up their surgeon's life. You've killed a man, Doctor. You're going to pay for it. Put the gun down and come with me. I... I did it, didn't I? I killed a man. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> well, there's so much blood. So much blood all over me. I can fix anything. What's going on here? Is... is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Doc Crocker killed Earl Sterling. I found out, and then he killed himself. Guess he couldn't handle the guilt. Dr. Crocker killed Earl? The, the facial reconstruction. So he really did go through with it. That explains a lot more than I'm comfortable with. Dr. Crocker always cared about his reputation, but this... This is inhuman. You didn't know. It's not your fault. Of course it's not my fault. That moron and his damn appearance over practice mentality. Now two lives have been lost. It's disgraceful. I better report all this to security. Get out of here. It's going to take a long time to clean this place of biohazards. Do the living, God the spoils. Where'd all this blood come from? It goes right into the basement. Earl, you've... You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can fix anything. 
What did you do to Earl Sterling? What did I do? Good patients get on. Hmm? So you were performing surgery, and Earl didn't make it. Is that it? I, uh, might have had just a bit of jet before operating. So I nipped a few arteries I shouldn't have. Who hasn't? But I'm a problem solver, you see. I knew if Earl disappeared, everyone would just think the Institute took him. You made a mistake. But you can still do the right thing, Doctor. Just think this through. You're... You're right. There's one thing I can do. Only one thing is going to make this all better. I can fix anything. Where did all this blood Earl. come from? It you goes right into the basement. You've really been a handful, you know. But I think we're just about done. Our little mistake is finally going to be corrected. Oh, naughty, naughty. You're not supposed to be down here, but that's okay. Take it easy, Doc. Let's talk. I didn't mean to do it. They just walk mm -hmm. Earl. He, uh, he just didn't want to be happy. Oh, screw this. Say hi to Earl for me. What you got? Can fix anything. What's going on here? Is is that Dr. Crocker? I think you owe me an explanation. What happened here? Did you know what Doc Crocker was doing down here? That's Earl Sterling's body, isn't it? Somewhere in the back of my mind. I knew he had gone through with the surgery. So, Earl didn't just vanish. The procedure went badly, and Dr. Crocker was just trying to cover it up. You let this happen, Doctor. You could have stopped this. You're, you're right. I should have known Dr. Crocker wasn't in any condition to continue practicing medicine. I should have known he killed Earl. Please, just go. I'll send the report to security and clean up this mess. Ready when you are. Jeez, pal. I like guns, too. Do you think you might be overcompensating there? I hear you've been asking questions around town. What, Diamond City's got two private dicks now?
I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. You shoot people in, sir? My dad says outside it's shoot people. So, you find out where Earl Sterling ran off to? Earl never went anywhere. Doc Crocker killed him during a botched surgery. Crocker killed Earl? Gone as long as he was, I figured maybe Raiders or the Institute, but Crocker? Where's the Doc now? Rotting in a cell, I hope. Crocker killed himself. He couldn't take the guilt. Goodness. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Here, take this. Sounds like you earned it. I'll send word along. Let everyone down at the dugout in know what happened. Shame it couldn't be better news. Thanks again for closing this one out. Mr. Nakano seemed like a good sort, trying to make the best of things in a tough world. <laughs> Remind you of anyone? You know, I can't guarantee it'll be any brighter, but we did have another case lying around if you're interested. You remember that one, Nick? The case for Marty? I do. Some loony scheme to make off with a statue of a grasshopper or something. You're welcome to page through it if you'd like. It's in the folder on the cabinet. Mr. 